Watch's military analyst, Thomas Magnet. Well, General, let's not bury the news. The news is that we are winning against ISIS, both in Syria and in Iraq. That's great. But then there's Afghanistan. Why are we not winning in Afghanistan? One word, Pakistan. Pakistan, the last almost 16 years, David, has been supporting the Taliban. Uh, when they said, when George Bush said, you're either with us or against us, they said they were with us. Well, they have not been with us, and we have to acknowledge that. There are nine major cities in Balochistan that are raising money, supporting them in recruiting, as well as training areas. Uh, we have a major problem because in the uh, non-fighting season, in the wintertime, they all retreat back into Pakistan. But why, yeah. General, forgive me for interrupting, but why are they supporting them? I mean, we're their paymasters. We give money to the Pakistanis. We support them against their fight uh, against terrorism, which, which is real and, and leads to the death of thousands of civilians there and military. Why are some people in the military there supporting the terrorist Taliban? Well, there are two reasons. Number one, uh, they do not want to have a strong Afghanistan where, say, India or others could start working with them and flank, outflank the Pakistanis. I They're see. definitely afraid of that. It Plus, actually said, that actually sounds a little bit like why China would support North Korea. It's, and it's why China is also supporting Pakistan. Because yeah. there's a China, uh, there's a Pakistan-China economic corridor that moves into the Middle East. Yeah through Afghanistan. Well, General, you know, I'm sorry to, to rush yeah. you, but we've had some breaking news on, on earnings. Why, why don't we just pull our support from Pakistan until they agree to stop supporting the Taliban? I would do that, plus I'd start striking those training areas with their power and tell them until they clean it up, we're going to strike them. And finally, under these conditions, being that Pakistan is doing what you say, should we send in more troops or not? Not unless we take care of Pakistan. There's no point in doing that. General McInerney, you always tell it like it is. General, thank you very much. Appreciate you being here. Thanks, David.